Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share with you my July favorites. I cannot believe how quickly the summer's going. It's just flying by. We've been really busy. Um, it's been all good stuff though. We've been traveling a lot and spent a lot of time with friends and family and time at the beach and at our lake house. So it's been really great. But I wanted to share with you some of my favorites for the month of July. Um, the first one that I'm going to share with you is this French press that I purchased at Target. And I actually did a little tutorial on this if you want to check it out because I never had one of these before. And my husband and I um, had gone out to dinner at a nice restaurant and they served us coffee in a French press. And we just couldn't believe how delicious the coffee was. And we decided um, being the coffee connoisseurs that we are, we really love coffee. We usually grind our own beans and um, it took us a long time to find a coffee maker that we actually liked. We thought we would give this a try and it's such a simple and easy process and it makes really good coffee. It takes a few minutes to make it. You have to wait like four minutes for it to brew. <laughs> but uh, coming from a Keurig, you know, sometimes you kind of lose the patience to wait for coffee. But um, this really does make good coffee. It only makes four cups at a time, but that's perfect for myself and my husband. Obviously, if we were having company, we probably wouldn't go this route, but um, definitely worth trying if you enjoy a cup of coffee as I'm like sweating here <laughs> in August, I'm talking about hot coffee. But um, anyway, this is really cool. I like it a lot and we are really enjoying our coffee lately um, using that French press. Another item that I've been using a lot um, in the month of July was this, I think it's called Sintus. Uh, Sintus Aromatherapy Diffuser and actually the company sent me this to review and it worked out perfectly because when I was um, just bringing our new puppy Leo into the house the dog breeder had told me that she always uses um, essential oils and she diffuses lavender a lot just to help calm the puppy especially the first week being at home it's really timid and nervous so I have been using this all day every day and we actually received this in the mail like the day that we brought our puppy home so um, this stays in our kitchen and it's just going all the time um, if you want to see um, the link above for how to calm your puppy <laughs> the first nights at home. Um, you can see how this like actually changes color. It has a really cool night light and it just kind of phases in and out in you know different colors and it's relaxing to look at. I don't know if that helps our dog Leo at all but I like to look at it and I think it looks pretty in the kitchen. So um, I have a few of these around the house. I like to use the um, Young Living, Unique Living. I have it right over here. <laughs> My Young Living one was the one that I had originally purchased and it's really pricey. Um, this was only less than 20 bucks on Amazon. So, you know, I can have them in multiple rooms in my house now at an affordable price. So that was one of my favorites of the month. And then what I've been reading in the month of July is Zach George's Dog Training Revolution. This guy has a really great YouTube video that I've been following. If you're a new um, dog owner, whether you have a puppy or just a new dog, or even if you just have a dog that you're having any types of issues with, or you just want to learn some new techniques in regards to training, this is a really great book. I find it to be very informative. And what he does that's great is, um, like whatever it is that he's speaking of, there's like a little note next to it see if I can find an example for you, where he lets you know that there's like a YouTube video on it. So see right here, it has like a little circle with an arrow next to it. So you can go ahead and look for um, the video on YouTube to correlate with what you're reading in the book. So I learned a lot through Zach, uh, Zach George between his YouTube channel and his book. And that's been really great for us because we're beginners with um, having a puppy anyway. We've had dogs before in the past, but they were already pretty much trained when we received them. So that book was really helpful and it was a great read for the month of July. Another definite favorite of mine for the month of July are these cooler bags by 31. Um, they fit a lot of stuff and with all the traveling that we've been doing, I have been using these like on a weekly basis. They're great for picnics, for going to the pool, um, just for traveling and keeping things cool. So I have two um, with different patterns on them. One is a few years old and one I recently got this year. I am using them so much and they really, really are great to have, especially if you travel a lot or if you need to pack up 
um, cooler items for a trip. Okay, I have a favorite game, and actually this one is brand new. I didn't even open it up yet because um, a friend of ours had brought this to our lake house and we played it with the children, and it was so much fun. It's just really a silly game. Everyone will be laughing. It's uh, great for all ages. So basically the idea is it's kind of like the telephone game, if you remember that from way back when you were little. And basically you get a sheet of paper and you read whatever it is you're supposed to be drawing. So let's just say it says like whale, you're supposed to be drawing a whale. So the person will draw it and give it to the next person. The next person will write down in words what they think it is. So then the next person will draw a picture of just the words of what they think that is and they won't see the original picture. And, and it kind of goes on and on from there. So then the next person will only see the picture that that person drew and they have to write down what they think it is. And then by the time you go around the room and depending on how many people you have, probably the more people, the more silly it can get. Um, you know, and then you see what the end result is, uh, you know, so it could be something totally, completely different from what the original person had drawn. So this is really a fun game and I'm excited to bring it on our next upcoming trip. The kids are really having a lot of fun with it. Okay, so um, let's move on to one of my favorite accessories. My last Stitch Fix box included this really pretty purse. And I was a little apprehensive in keeping it because it is so small, but I've been using it a lot just um, when I go out without the kids or, you know, if I'm going out to dinner with my husband or something like that, I don't need to bring my big purse that I've been using a lot this summer. Um, it's nice to have something a little prettier. And the reason I fell in love with this purse is because it matches my watch. If you can see that, it matches my watch perfectly. And it also matches my phone perfectly but this was so disappointing. It doesn't fit in the pocket. I have um, an iPhone 7 Plus, and I guess, I don't know what this is made for though, because I don't even think my 6 would have fit in here. It's really narrow, and that part just like really upset me because I kept the part purse assuming that it would fit any phone, and this just, it's not cutting it. So I do have to keep my purse inside, which is really disappointing. But it does match perfect, and it does match the watch too, so I kind of have the whole uh, thing going down very nicely. But anyway, um, this purse is by a company called Urban Expressions. And I don't know if that's unique to Stitch Fix, um, but it is really pretty. I like the clasp on the front. I like that there's lots of pockets inside, and the lining is really pretty too, if you can see that lining in there and it has multiple pockets which is great so even though my phone doesn't fit on the outside you can see there's this little slip pocket there that it can go into rather nicely so um, this is definitely a favorite of mine and it's really a nice color for the summer months and I've been really enjoying this uh, pretty blush pink handbag all right I feel like I'm moving along really fast today I think it's because it's so hot in here we live in a really old house and we have um, window units that we put in, like air conditioner window units, but my husband's kind of making his way through the house and he hasn't gotten to our bedroom yet. So it's just like unbearably hot in here. Um, so anyway, that's why I'm moving so quickly. <laughs> I just want to go back downstairs where there's an air conditioner and I can cool back off. Um, so this uh, mascara by Maybelline, it's called the Push Up Drama The Falsies. This is, um, my second batch of it. I already went through one and it really works well. I have difficulty with getting my lashes to curl. They just kind of go straight out or they kind of go down in a way. They don't have that really nice swoop and this is good um, for just kind of swooping them up and keeping them up and they do fill out your lashes rather nicely. I don't find it to be too clumpy or too hard to use. It is one of those mascaras, and I find this with almost all the mascaras that I use, that the longer you use it, the better it works. So usually like the first week of using it, it doesn't really do much for me at all, and I feel like I need to do multiple applications for it to even work. But um, after like a week, this is really, really nice, and I like this a lot. So this is the current mascara that I'm using, and I think it works really well. And then finally, I'm on to some of my favorite treats for the month of July. And I have been having these almost every
every morning for breakfast because our summer has been so busy and in the morning it's usually running off to my daughter's doing dance camp my other daughter's on the swim team uh, my son's doing a soccer camp and now my youngest is going to be doing swim lessons so we're just like always getting up and on the go which is kind of a good thing as much as I like to sleep in and relax a bit in the summer I like having some weeks where we're kind of like okay you have to get up and get moving because I can I kind of feel like I'm stuck in a rut when I get into that really lazy routine of just like staying in my pajamas all morning and sleeping in and I can't get motivated so I actually feel much better when I have to get up and go if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> so these Velveeta breakfast um, snacks have been really great especially on the mornings where I'm just running late and I'm on the go and I need something quick I just have my coffee in the morning and I grab one of these and it just kind of gets me through the first few hours of the morning until I can really sit down and have something of more substance so this is my favorite one it's the oats and chocolate and this is like a soft um, baked breakfast treat and then they also have these are more crunchy they're more like a, a very thin cookie and my daughter actually likes this one a lot and this is the uh, blueberry breakfast Velveeta. So these have been definitely a great go-to breakfast and they're also great for traveling. When we're um, going places, I can just throw a few of these in my suitcase and I know I have something quick and easy to eat in the morning if I'm preoccupied with other things. And then finally, as it's melting away here, um, one of my favorite treats are these Talenti gelatos. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Talenti. Um, I found these at Target and this one actually is not my favorite. My favorite is the coconut. I don't have it to show you because for some reason Target has not had the coconut in a couple of weeks now. And it's really disappointing because that has always been my favorite. But they're all really good. This one is the vanilla caramel swirl and it is delicious. It's just a nice treat for the summer months. Um, they're really, really good. And again, these are a gelato, and they have a variety of different flavors. Um, I don't know if all stores carry it. I think I've seen it at Weiss, um, and I may have seen it at Walmart, but I typically get this at Target. And it is really good, and it's like dripping away on me now <laughs> because it's sitting here. And um, yeah, I think that is everything that I have uh, for my July favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gives you some ideas of some new things to try yourself. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and go ahead and follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram. Enjoy the rest of your summer guys. Have a great August. Bye.